Our side is working to get to the bottom of how a police pursuit played out on area freeways yesterday. Thousands of drivers saw a getaway car and police officers barreling down the highway in their rearview mirrors after a bank robbery in Portsmouth. Today on your side's Lauren Compton has been talking to police all day, trying to get some new information. And Lauren, what have you found out? Anita, police did identify the bank robber as 47-year-old Philip Basket of Chesapeake. But that's where the information about this situation pretty much ended. It started with a bank robbery at 128 at this Portsmouth Wells Fargo, and it all ended here with the suspect being carted away in a police car in Virginia Beach. Since we broke this story, 10 on your side has been working to piece together what exactly happened in between. We know the suspect, Philip Basket, evaded police through four cities, Portsmouth, Chesapeake, Norfolk, and Virginia Beach. I learned today, though, that only officers from Portsmouth, Chesapeake, and state police pursued the suspect. But when I asked Portsmouth police for the exact route of the pursuit, I was told all details surrounding the case would have to be formally requested through the Freedom of Information Act. From viewer videos like this one, 10 on your side learned the pursuit went through Bowers Hill, seen here, and the Greenbrier area. Portsmouth police dispute the idea that this pursuit was a high-speed chase, however. After speaking to the Portsmouth police, Norfolk police, and state police, we did get a clearer picture of how the pursuit ended. As the pursuit continued, both Norfolk and Virginia Beach police were asked to assist. Norfolk got the call at 2.20. Virginia Beach officers were asked to block off the intersections and control traffic when Basket got off at Newtown Road. Both Norfolk and Virginia Beach officers were on the scene with Portsmouth officers and state police when Basket was finally arrested near this office building. We wanted to know more about how officers decide when to pursue suspects that is proving rather difficult. Chesapeake police is going through records. Portsmouth once again said we have to file a formal request for information. State police did discuss their pursuit policies. I'll have more on how that plays out tonight at 6. Police are not release, releasing Basket's mugshot. Several witnesses will have to ID him in a lineup, and police say showing his face could jeopardize their investigation. Lauren Compton, 10 on your side. Thank you, Lauren. Our coverage continues on wavy.com. You'll find more components to this story, including a photo gallery from the chase and an exact timeline of what happened. It's all within this story on wavy.com.